Tampa Bay meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us now with your weather impact. Hi, Nat. Hey, Carolina. Yeah, we've been tracking the tropics very closely for, closely for you the last couple of days, and this wave has remained mostly unchanged as it tracks its way towards the Lesser Antilles over the last 36 hours. However, today was the first day we started to really see some convection blow up with this, and that is just an indication of what's to come. It is trying to get into an environment that's more conducive of development. Right now, in the short term, in the next 48 hours, nothing's going to come of this. However, as we get closer to about the next five to seven days out, National Hurricane Center is watching it closely because it'll be into this range. How far west it'll go, how far east will go. We're still working out those details, but this is where the environment could be conducive for potential development. But let's show you what we do know so far. We have been showing more showers and storms, very disorganized at that, but showers and storms develop over portions of the Lesser Antilles and expanding out towards Puerto Rico. Our radars are even starting to pick up on this, so we can see where those heavy embedded downpours are located, how widespread the cloud coverage and the rain has been. But again, it's very broad and still very disorganized. First, let's walk you through some changes we have started to notice within our last computer runs, one of which is the European. We've been showing you this all week. Still continue to show this tracking just to the north of the Leeward Islands towards the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. And originally, it was the one that was favoring staying east of Florida and going up to the Carolinas, right? Well, some of the last runs, really it's the most latest one, has been keeping it very disorganized, very broad, a swath of rain sweeping over the Sunshine State, and then kind of having it meander in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. That is a, a very similar pattern to what the GFS was already showing us for the last couple of days. It actually brings it more so down over Cuba, again, as a weaker system, very broad, disorganized moisture and kind of doing the same thing over the weekend and into early next week. So we're still looking at the potential of a tropical depression trying to form as far west as the Gulf of Mexico, eastern Gulf, or as far east as the western Atlantic. We've got to watch this one closely, but I think more than anything else, we're talking rain for the upcoming weekend.